السلام عليكم I'm Dr. Wael Muhammad PhD in Applied Mathematics from Egypt Now we are going to solve Edexcel International A-Level Mechanics 1 Gen 19 paper Okay, let's start Question 1 Two particles A and B have masses 2m and 3m respectively They are moving towards each other in opposite directions along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal plane when they collide directly So we deal with collision problem In these problems we draw the particles like this This is A and this is particle B A with mass 2m, B with mass 3m and above I will draw their speeds just before collision below here I will draw their speed their speeds just after collision okay and before everything we should indicate our positive direction which I will assume to be to the right okay immediately before they collide the speed of A is 3u okay I will draw speed of E to the right with with 3u and the speed of B is U okay according to the question the question said that in opposite direction they are moving in opposite direction so the speed of B will be to the left with speed U okay and we will put it in with negative sign in our rule okay and then as a result of the collision the speed of A is halved and the direction of motion of each particle is reversed okay very good so we will draw the speed of a just after collision to, to be to the left okay because its direction will be reversed also b will be to the right and also the magnitude of the speed of a will be 1.5 u which is half of 3 u okay okay in collision problems we have only two rules we will use one of them to solve i and the other to solve double i i said find the speed of b immediately after the collision we will call speed of b after collision vb okay to solve this problem we will apply in the rule which says that maua plus mbub equals M A V A plus M B V B, which called conservation law of momentum. The sum of momentum just before collision equals the sum of momentum just after collision, and the U letter refers to the speed just after collision. V letter refers to the speed just after collision. Of course, you know that in the alphabet U is previous to V. Okay. And now we will substitute MA with 2M. I will multiply 2M times 3U, okay? It will be 6MU directly, 6MU. And then I will multiply 3M times negative U, negative U, okay? It will be minus 3MU, okay? And then equals. Now we are looking for the speed after collision. I will multiply 2M times 1.5U or times negative 1.5U course we will choose the negative okay 2m times negative 1.5u to be minus 3mu and finally I will multiply 3m times vb to be 3m vb and now we can solve for vb okay of course we can cancel m out from all equations by dividing by it and we know that m doesn't equal 0 of course okay and then we have here 3u plus 3u it will be 6u divided by 3 so vb will be just 2u okay double i find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on a by b in the collision okay of course you know that the rule of impulse will be i equals m and then v minus a minus u okay because the impulse is the change of momentum and now we are talking about A, on A, so we will focus on A. I should write here MA and VA and also UA. And we should follow the same positive direction which we assumed before, okay? So that MA will be 2M 
and VA will be minus 1.5 U and also this is the minus of the rule and then UB will be 3 U then we have minus 4.5 U times 2 M will be negative 9 M U this is the impulse but the, equ the required is to get the magnitude of the impulse which should be 9 mu okay of course if we calculate the magnitude of the of the impulse for on which is on b it will be the same result but we prefer to follow the question and get it on a okay okay question two about vectors at time t equals zero a bird a leaves its nest that is located at the point with position vector 20i minus 17j so this is the initial position of a okay and flies with constant velocity negative 6i plus 7j okay also this is the constant velocity of a v a vector okay meter per second at the same time a second bird b leaves its nest which is located at the point with position vector minus 8i plus 9j meter this is uh, b initial position okay and then and flies with constant velocity pi plus 2pj this is the velocity of b which is constant also meter per second where p is a constant at time t equal four seconds bird b is southwest of bird a how we can use this important information we will show now a find the direction of motion of a in this question in, in this part of question we focus on a only okay okay giving your answer as a bearing okay very easy super easy okay we will write now v a vector is equal to minus 6 i plus 7 j so we can draw this is minus 6 i and vertically upward 7 j like this and this is the resultant velocity this is the resultant velocity okay which is va right now we want to get the bearing how we can calculate the bearing we start from the north right and rotate clockwise to reach our target which is va vector okay how we can calculate this angle we should calculate theta here at first and then subtract it from 360 this angle is the same as this angle because they are alternate angles okay and this angle can be calculated easily by writing theta equal tan inverse opposite divided by adjacent which will be 6 over 7 okay cancel the negative now okay 6 over 7 the negative means the direction is to the left and we draw it already to the left and then we will get the bearing the required bearing okay to be 360 minus theta and it will be 319 degrees okay this part is only three marks but the important part is here find the speed of b 10 marks wow okay to get the speed of b we will write the important rule which says that r vector is equal to r initial vector plus t times the constant velocity we will apply this rule for, for particle A, for bird A, sorry. Now I will write A vector equals initial A, which is 20i minus 17j, 20i minus 17j, okay. And then plus t times velocity of A, which is negative 6i plus 7j. And for B, we will do the same rule, which is b vector is equal to the initial position of b which is negative 8i plus 9j and then plus t times pi plus 2pj okay okay and now we are we will calculate them at t equal 4 second at t equal 4 second we will do the following the new position of a will be as the following t will be 4 okay 4 will expand this bracket and then we collect i together and j together it's really easy t 
t four times negative six negative twenty four i plus twenty i will be minus four i. Okay. Also here, t which is four four times seven twenty eight j minus seventeen j it will be plus eleven j. Okay. Also for b vector we have the following. T is 4 now, 4 times P will be 4P, 4P minus 8I, 4P minus 8, all times I, and then plus, we have here 4 times 2P, 8P plus 9J, 8P plus 9J, okay? And now, how we can use the information which says that B is southwest of A, okay? If we... Imagine that A is here, B should be here, okay? And southwest means that the, this angle should be this angle. This angle is 90, of course, okay? And this angle should be 45 degrees because it's southwest, southwest, okay? Which means also um, you must clarify the drawing well. You must know what this part indicated to and also this part indicated to this is a b vector right and this is the horizontal component of a b vector which is the component multiplied by i and this is the vertical component of a b vector okay and they should be equal in magnitude because this is 45 degrees and also of course it will be 45 degrees also to be an isosceles triangle okay so we must get AB at first. We must get AB vector at first, which of course B vector minus A vector and can be calculated by subtracting, okay? 4P minus 8 minus minus 4, it will be plus 4. So it will be 4P minus 4, I, okay? And then I will say 8P plus 9 minus 11, it will be 8 P 9 minus 11 minus 2 G okay and this is the horizontal component of a B and this is the vertical component they should be equal I will write 4 P minus 4 equals 8 P minus 2 and then it will be 8 P minus 4 B we have here 4 P and we have here minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 so that P will be minus half okay one can ask me how we will do if the angle is not 45. Whatever the angle will be, you can get it's 10, okay? 10, this angle, is the opposite over the hypotenuse, sorry, over the adjacent, and the opposite will be the vertical component of AB, and the adjacent will be the horizontal component of AB. And in our case now, 1045 is 1, don't forget, 1045 is 1. So we can also use 10, but it's easily to say that we deal with isosceles triangle and then we can get VB vector which is P plus 2P, PI plus 2PJ so it will be negative half I minus half times 2 which is 1J and then we can get the magnitude of the velocity which is the speed to be square root of uh, half squared will be 1 over 4 plus 1 squared will be 1 and then it will be square root of 5 divided by 2, which can be approximately equal 1.12 meter per second. Okay, thank you, and in the next video, we'll complete the paper, inshallah.